Hello everyone, myself Kalya. So I am having 5 plus experience in big data. So today I am going to talk about the Ubuntu installation using VirtualBox. So for that the pre-request will be we need to take care of first installing the VirtualBox and after that downloading the Ubuntu software from the Ubuntu repositories. Let me follow the slides. The first step is installing the virtual box on your machine. So you can go for the below link to download the virtual box software and after that you can just install one by one step by step execution of the virtual box. So once you complete the virtual box on your box then please go for the Ubuntu link. The given the link is like a here. So once you download the Ubuntu software from the Ubuntu repositories then we will follow the approach for like a how to install the Ubuntu software on your virtual box. So for that just let me follow my screen. The first place start the your virtual box once it is installed. The once the virtual box window is open to you then go for the first option is click on new. So once you click on the new you give your operating system name. So I'll be going to give my operating system name is Kalyan. Ubuntu. So you need to choose the type of the software that is a Linux and which version is it 32 bit or 64 bit. I will be going with the 64 bit. Then once you choose all these values go for the option called next. So once you click on the next you have an option to choose your RAM size depends on your operating system currently you are having it. Suppose I am having like a 16 GB, so I can choose around like 11 GB maximum. So depends on your operating system, you have to choose this value. So I will be going with right now 2 GB RAM for my virtual box. So that is 2048. Then I will click on next. Then here you have an option to choose like an existing virtual drive from your machine or else you can create a new virtual drive. So today we are going to interested to go for going for creation. So let's click on the create new virtual disk option and go for option with the create. Then you will be having a multiple options here VDA, VD, MTK, VHD, SDD, QAD. Okay. So up to your choice is, is okay for us. So I will go for the VDA then go with the next. Then you can choose your memory with two options dynamically or fixed size. Better to go with the dynamic allocation later you can always change that one. So then I will be clicking on the next option. So then you have a chance like a minimum 8 GB it is offering but you can choose like as you wish. So better to go for if you want doing in the big data installation means choose around 15 GB. It will be a better choice like you can do any other kind of installations. So after choosing the 15 GB here then click on the create option. So now it is open a window for you just like a one. Kalyan Hadoop option to you. So now next step for you we just need to load the ISO image to this one. So for that click on the start option. So once you click on the start option there is an option to choose drive for you. So click on the choose virtual box ISO. So I will be going with the option in my local machine desktop Ubuntu the ISO. So I will be selecting that one then I will be clicking on the start. Then it will be going to load your ISO to your virtual box. So wait for a few seconds to load this one. Yes, the current version of the Ubuntu I have chosen like a 12.04 64 bit version. So it is going to loading. You can close these things if you are not interested to visualize. So now I have an option to try it and install it. So I will be going with the install option because I am ready to install the Ubuntu. Then you will be having an option for selecting the downloads update in the time of installation or you want to install third party software. It's up to you. You want to check for this one. You need to have internet. If you don't have any internet right now, go for that. Simply continue. 
and you have an option called arrays entirely or something so if you are going with the virtual box you can go for arrays or something else anything is fine not an issue and here so i'll be giving like a my 16 gb for the space space for this one for entire to the ubuntu and install now so it's a choice for you where you are located in the throughout the world you can choose the option right now it is by default selected the Kolkata here in india so i'll be continue with that so the keyboard right now i'm using like a us english so i selected that one i'll be going with continue and you can define your own name here so i'll be going with my name is kalyan and my computer name also kalyan so I'll be using my username is Kalya. Then choose your password and confirm your password. If everything is completed here, then go for the continue. It will take a bit time. So now it is installing the operating system. You can always verify what's going on by clicking on install system. It needs some time, depends on your RAM speed. pause for some time yeah after waiting for five to ten minutes so you will be going to get like a message like installation is completed so you can go for restarting the your system so please click on the restart now so now your window is restarting And if you are using like a ISVMS or maybe like a CD drive, it's always give you prompt like a please print enter. So once you print enter, it's going to be continue the next step. So now it is restarting. So now, so we give your username is Kalyan. So now your username is came. So you can provide your password, what you given as part of the initialization time. Now it is configuring your desktop. Yes. 
yes now we are fully logged into the ubuntu so now if you want to do any command line up command line things means you can go for the dash home the left corner one and click on that one type terminal so you want to make these things in a shortcut these things are in a shortcut means you can always do the drag and drop so now i dragged it so the next next time onwards i have to go for this one i can order it also always all these things sorry let's open open up this you can close it you don't want all these things means you can unlock it also I don't want to upgrade to 14th version so I clicked on the don't upgrade so this is the terminal if you click on that one it always shows you the first one is the username second one is the host name so these both we given as part of the Ubuntu initialization so now you can practice your Linux commands like you want to find ls it's a list command it will list out the files you want to use the cat command to verify the file content there is a file etc hysts if i give this one it will display the content of the file so like this you can do any kind of comments in the ubuntu now so you are ready to do any kind of operation now so please follow the same instructions if you have anything you can just reply to the comments reply to me also so i'll be open so hope you enjoyed the video i'll be closing it